Hi everyone, Jingma Sinda here for WPT Deep Sacks at Parks Racing in Ben Salem, Philadelphia. Did you know that Parks Racing features the hottest thoroughbred live racing action in the region? And we're going to see it for ourselves today. And we might get a tip or two on how to wager on these horses from one of the experts. So we have here Mr. Bill Hudgens, Very also good. known as Hudge the Handicapper. Hi Bill, how are you today? I'm fine dear, thank you very much for having me. So as a handicapper, what do you do? I play horses for a living and here at Park I teach people how to play horses for a living. Is that hard to do? That is very hard to do. It's a more of a case of experience um, and time playing than anything else. Uh, it's cerebral, so you have to be willing to uh, use your mind and patience. That's another thing you have to be. And you also have to be, there's one other ingredient that a lot of people don't factor in is you have to be willing to lose a little bit too because you're going to lose while you learn and you're going to lose even after you learn. I've been playing for 40 years and I still lose races. Well, I'm so interested. What are you supposed to look into a horse to bet on it? Because sometimes I'm just like, oh, the name sounds like really cool. I'll bet on that horse. What should I look for? That's a fascinating question. Um, one of the things I try to teach newcomers is to uh, examine the horse's last two or three races. Don't worry about going too far back into past performances. You do need, their most recent three races is extremely important. So for the next race, who should I bet on? Uh, this next race coming up, I didn't bring my sheet with me, but I, if I'm not mistaken, I just give me a second to peep at the board. And that tote board is always fascinating because it shows you how everybody is thinking. Uh, the more people that agree on a horse, the shorter the price is going to be. The fewer more people that agree on the horse, the longer the price is going to be. Long shots win their share of races, favorites win more than long shots. So in this race coming up, I believe I had number six on top, and I believe I had number one, but I can't verify that because unfortunately I did not bring my tip sheet with me. So there you go guys, I hope you learned a thing or two about wagering. Let's go back to the action on the felt for WPT Deep Stacks Big Stacks. Check out WPT.com for continued coverage.